Our tail of the tape brought to you by Ultratude. Chong, 35, six years the senior of Robertson. The reach, 170 to 169 in favour of Robertson. The height, two centimetres in favour of Chong. And the records, 3-2 and 0 oh for Chong and 2-5 and 0 oh for Robertson in his professional career. Slade Norris, our referee in charge of this one. Chong in the orange and blue, Robertson Ready? in the black Ready? and red. This fight brought to you by Unibet, unibet.com.au. And here we go. No, surpri no surprise there. We're going to see a lot of movement by Alan Chong. We're going to see him move around. We're going to see him throw lots of kicks. He's going to mix it up. So that's what we want to see. There you go. If Robertson gets caught into this, maybe he might be on the receiving end of some of those, but we'll see how it goes. As uh, Alan was mentioning, he likes to switch the styles up. He's got plenty of experience. Taekwondo, kickboxing. Oh, oh what, what a kick! What a body kick! Oh, Chong just goes after him. Look at that double off the cage. Took the kick to set up the takedown. All right, Robertson's got a beautiful overhook there. He might look at trying to look for a triangle. He's going to try and get wrist control on that left wrist of Chong, but Chong is staying super tight up on that foot. He's going to try and stand any chance he gets. Look at that squat. He's squatting over him right now. That's very difficult to control their posture when they're able to drive off their legs like that. Look at that. He's going to try and stand and maybe start striking. Chong trying to pass. He's going to pass that right leg over. But Robertson wiser to it. Yeah, he's got that butterfly on the inside. He's going to keep him elevated. I wonder if he's going to look to sweep. He's looking at setting up a triangle. You can see he's trying to poke his right knee mm. underneath the armpit area of Alan Chong. Trying to push that arm back and set the trap. Yeah. That Classic. That nice kick. He did a good job to get it to the ground. Controlled it since. Man, he's got a great overhook there. He's still working out. He's looking for a guillotine from the top. There it is. He's going to use that to pass. He's looking for the underhook, but look at that underhook by Robertson straight away. He gets that underhook. That's going to be his chance to get out of this. Chong sta staying super, he super heavy, looking to mount him with that guillotine. You know what? Robertson has to make sure he doesn't clear that right knee. Because with that guillotine, if he clears that right knee, he might choke him out. Oh, locked down. He's got it locked down. The guillotine on. He's okay. Gives a thumbs up. So that's cool. Yeah, that lockdown, what it does is it pulls the body south, and stretches, the, stretches it out so he can't bear down on the choke. And Robertson back to his feet off to turn the tide here on Chong. Drop of bombs. This might get stopped if Chong doesn't oh, defend himself. A few shot, solid shots there. He's got that left arm pinned. He's going to look at passing. He should try and pass right now. He could get low, low, he could get stuck in a leg attack here if he's not careful. How relaxed was Robertson in that uh, choke, and then all of a sudden he turns it around and starts raining bombs well, that's on Alan Chong. That's the power of the lockdown. When you have that lockdown in, it actually stretches you away from the choke, so it takes the pressure off the neck. It's very important. Crowd firmly in the corner here of Ryan Robertson. Through 17 remaining here in round number one, and he's dropping Hamifis. Chong has to find the way to back to his feet and control the posture of a rampaging Robertson, and he's starting to open up a can of whip right now. Slade Norris right on top of the action. Chong just got that one butterfly in. He's in butter half right now. We call that butter half. Half guard with a butterfly. He's going to use that to elevate and maybe try and sweep and get him off him. But look at that. Robertson puts his own butterfly in to start putting pressure on the legs and opening them, opening them apart. How this fight has turned from the first half of this opening round. They're very e evenly matched, aren't they? They've both got dangerous weapons off either side. Chong, oh, bombs are dropping bombs here again on Chong, but Chong throwing the legs up. He's trying to create distance and stand up. Maybe looking for a dash now here is Robertson. Robertson's starting to set up a, a sub of his own. I think he's only just using it for head control, making his way to the back. Here he goes. Chong hanging in there. In on the receiving, looking for that sweep. Well, he's got that overhook on that side. He's going to look at using it to help him mount. He's got to bring his left knee across the belly real quick or else he's going to end up getting stood up. Chong now looking for the lockdown, but Robertson flicks the leg off. He's got him in a, he's looking oh, at a das. Das. Oh, das. oh, it's in. If he can mount him now, he's stuck against the cage. This might be over. He can't escape. For him to escape, he's got to put his back on the mat. Robertson knows that he's gone for a mount. This is super tight. If he has that, his hands clinched correctly, this could be over. Look, he's trying to punch the ribs. He's stuck. This he's could be over. Not. This could be over. Oh, he gets out. Oh, my oh. God. I can't believe he got out of that. Chong hangs in there. 
Maybe the arms of Robertson a little gas. Maybe not able to finish it. Now trying to rain shots down here on Chong. Takes the back. Oh, this is dangerous now here for Chong. 30 seconds here for Robertson. Oh, if you're a little bit tight and gassed in the arms, finishing from the back is very difficult. Mm. Very difficult. If you don't have a quarter of the gas tank left when you have the back, it's very hard to finish. Chong using the wrist control to try and slow down the, the attack here of Robertson, but again, has both hooks in. 10 seconds left here in round number one. Excellent decision to go to the back and start trying to finish there or look for throw some punches. If he can't finish, he should try and punch. He's got to run out of time. Wow, what a round. Wow. You can see the face there of Alan Chong, well and truly marked up, took the best of what Robertson had to offer, but some clinical jiu-jitsu from both gentlemen. Absolutely. Let's see if we can get the replay up. Lots to discuss, gentlemen. Lots to discuss. Let's work face and coming back with the strong elbows as you do. Yes, yes. Yep. The stand-up game is yours. If you dare to bring you to the ground, it's our game. Yeah. It's perfect. Spurf. Deep breaths. Walk the diaphragm in and out. Three deep breaths. In the replay, you can see Tom had a bit of a guillotine go. Look at that beautiful sweep. He just kicked him off, got back to his feet, threw him on the ground and punched him in the face. Boom. That was epic. That was really early in the round. That was the start when he escaped from that hold. And then it was all ruthless for Robert, uh, Ryan Robertson from that point. Still the Z guard there from Chong in the late round. One of my personal favorites. One of my only good positions is here we go. Round number two. Second of five minute rounds. Here at Hex 10. But later to come, Kit the Killer Camel and John Varke fight it out for the Hex Welterweight title. See the confidence of Robinson now as he just smiles after uh, Chong trying to throw a leg kick. Oh, off a cut, he dropped Chong! What a shot there from Robinson! I don't know whether he actually dropped him. I think he might have got hit with it and decided to go for a shoot. And it just sort of, he crumpled like a Tower 7. Now oh, sinking the knees in. Here now is Robertson, that weight bearing down there on Chong. The Kimura set up. Really should have tried to uh, to circle out of there, but he yeah. just dropped. Now he finds himself in a spot of bother again. Robertson's got a lot of pressure. He's looking to punch. Yeah, he's looking at clinching, disengaging, and throwing some punches. Very smart, very smart striking on the ground. But look, look, Chong has moved his hips like a champion, and he's pulled guard. Now let's see what kind of attack and offense he has off his back. Full guard, 3.45 left in the second. You see he's got the overhook. Now Robertson just trying to smother the mouth there of Chong. Yeah, Chong's got that triangle set up. He's looking at getting wrist controls, trying to zombie that arm to the outside and bring that right knee through. But his legs aren't moving with his hands. It's a long way to go with that right leg if you're going to leave it there too late. No he's maybe just looking for getting right. a. He's probably just trying to get a stand up, in my opinion. Short elbow from Robertson again. Now going. Here he goes. Almost a Japanese necktie from the bottom there from Chong. Hard to see. Even camera angles are difficult yeah. to see. You see Robertson keeping his spine nice and square with his opponent's spine. Don't want to get an angle on on you. He doesn't want to get allow him to get his hips out or get his, his shoulders to the side. Opens up arm bars and triangles. Nice elbows there by Robertson. He's just holding him. He's not. He, he, every time he tries to go for an attack, he ends up eating some elbows. So he's looking at getting a stand. I refer he's having a good hard look at this. Chong again with the overhook. This time on the right hand side. He seems content to keep it in this position, but this is an opportunity where he could use the cage to get back to the feet. Yeah, Chong just had a good long look at the referee just then. As he, he wants to stand, stand it up. Me up, please. Robert trying to throw that, looking for the high guard. It's very dangerous what Robertson's doing right now. I mean, I know, I'm sure he knows what he's doing, but leaving your arms around an opponent's neck is just begging to be double arm barred there. Referee's having a look. Two minutes remaining here in the round. He's trying to go to Americano on that right, right arm, of, left arm of Robertson's, but he let it go. He let it go. Oh, nice elbow there by Robertson. Robertson being very patient there. He has to be really careful having his arms high around his neck like that. It's very dangerous. Oh, oh, oh. hammer fist here from Robertson. He's Chong. standing up now. Oh, he's oh. got that posture broken. Oh, man. 
he might let him up here. It's on 90 seconds Beautiful. remaining here in round number two. Beautifully done. Oh, he's going to go for it. Yeah. It's content to keep him on the ground. Didn't want to let him up. Ah, he's dominating now. As Chong gets that butterfly in. Because he's taken a lot of punishment now, Steve. He gets back to full guard. So Chong just holding on here. And as we pointed out, maybe looking for a stand up. As long as Robertson keeps active, he's going to yeah. keep it there. Yeah. There's no reason to stand him up. He's active. And Chong is going to eat every single part of that unless he does something to try and get out of it. Because you know what? He might just get finished right now. Here's Robertson raining down again on Chong. Chong just desperately trying to control the posture here of Robertson. But every time he lets go, he eats four or five. And Robertson covering the mouth. Okay, see, Chong was relying on the rope to stand him up, but it just wasn't happening because Robertson was staying busy. 35 seconds. Those short shots more annoying than anything else. But again, Robertson looking to separate posture and, and throw some more bombs. And again, Chong, good job of controlling the posture. Toes out of the fence, called by the ref. 10 seconds. Chong is looking forward to this bell. Oh, nice left there by Robertson to finish off the round. And that will do. Round number two in the books. Chong and Robertson throwing down here at Hex. He's getting marked up badly there is Chong. Big mouse on the left side, just under the eye. Yeah, he's getting mighty lumpy now, isn't he? He's a mess. It'll be interesting to see. He's going to be breathing out of his mouth for most of this round. Takes more damage like this. This one will be over very quickly. Third and final round. Robertson and Chong. Yeah, he keeps touching his nose. You can just tell that he's, he's in a bit of strife there. Yeah. Oh! Front push kick there by Robertson up high. Chong's a gamer, though. He's taken a lot. He's still standing in front of Robertson. If he stays in that southpaw position, Robertson's got to throw some right hands down the pipe and he'll, he'll land every single time. He's enjoying himself out there. For that head kick about a couple of centimeters short there 418 to go well, robertson's just stalking him now he's just walking him down chong with a couple of looping shots and the inside thigh kicks now here from robertson starting to open up oh, he's a mess isn't he frank it's going to happen when you oh. sit on your back expecting a stand up. That's what can happen. Yeah. Robertson now going to go on low this round, Frank. Well, he, he wants the knockout. There's no doubt about it. So he's going to set it up. He's going to he's going to butter up the legs. Yeah. That's going to go drop. Oh, that was a desperate, a very desperate shot there. And Robertson says, "To your feet, son. Let's finish this like men." Ready? Fight for him. Fight. And then here we go. Don't see this last one. Oh, big shot to Robertson. Oh, oh, Robertson. Oh, Robertson. Oh, big shot there. Ryan Robertson!